Alright, what's up people? VanTX39 here for Blitzmia Gaming, and welcome back to DNA. Apparently, Scruffy managed to get himself a duel with Bus Fair, one of, uh, one of the more prominent Yugi tubers on YouTube, so, yeah, let's take a look at this. Originally, Scruffy was in this video, but we had an audio incident, and, uh, yeah, that was my fault. Anyway, I'll be commentating over the first half of this, which I sped up, because this duel actually took 22 minutes. Yeah, that's how Scruffy plays. So he's using his Ultimate Chaos deck against Bus Fan's own Psy uh, Psychic Redox deck. So, yeah, that is going to be an interesting matchup. Unfortunately, Bus Fan is not on top of his game during this match. Reason why is because his cousin actually was providing a bit of a distraction. Scruffy knows exactly what that's about, but uh, yeah. So, yeah, I've actually ran psychics before. Yeah, misclick Scruffy. That's an earth monster, not light or dark. He's played psychics before because I've actually ran them at one point. He tried to use his new iron chain deck. Uh, and promptly squashed my strategy mainly because I didn't have a whole lot of spell and trap destruction cards running in that. If anything, it focused more on banishment than anything else. So, yeah. We're gonna run off that creature swap into a side conductor behemoth. Yeah. That is nice. So, yeah. This is kind of an kind of an odd occurrence. I mean, Scruffy's not a bad duelist, but Come on, you know, his deck can should be a bit more structurally sound. He focuses more on aesthetics, you know, uh, compared to, you know, actually trying to make it flow more. He has built something of a strategy in this deck, but for the most part, it tends to be kind of more, kind of more iffy and make you scratch your head. It's like a rogue deck, but yeah, you know, it's not really that much of a threat. Mainly because Scruffy tends to like to play character decks, so he puts together like these. Um, he's got like a Yugi deck, he's got a Joey deck, you know, and he makes a few modifications here and there, but nothing really competitive. Then again, that's the thing: we don't really play competitively. I mean, I put together um, quite a few decks now, but you know, still. That's, that's nothing. So, here we go. Yeah, I'm surprised that Scruffy's actually holding his own for now, and he actually managed to get Bus Fair down to half. Not really going to work all that much, though, considering, I mean, just, whatever. So, anyway, here we go. I forgot that, uh, I forgot that Valor is also a tuner. So, yeah. Boom, there you go. Black Rose, getting past uh, his sorcerer's effect and destroying everything. Nice play by Bus Fair there. And yeah, I am taking a page out of Bus Fair's book by actually featuring music in addition to this commentary and the duel. As you can see, I am typing here in the watchers chat because I always do it during each of Bus Fair's matches anyway. But mainly, I want to get something clear. I am not helping Scruffy at all throughout this entire duel. He's on his own, playing as he as he usually does. I'm not giving him any tips, any hints whatsoever. He should know what's coming, even though I've only used the Psychic deck once. And I promptly deleted it, but, you know, that was a mistake. Mainly because, well, you know, I'm looking at Bus Fair's, uh engine here the way he's running this deck and it freaking works it's just i go up against scruffy all the time and all he does is troll as a result it makes it hard for me to get over at all mainly i have to pray that he doesn't have a magic cylinder or an mst or any of those attack uh canceling cards down i don't know i do run cards to break those it's just chances of me getting them aren't very likely or he's already countered. So it's interesting to see how he's going for it off of this. Of course, he's going to use um, his Chaos and Master in order to get out his Sphere of Chaos. So. 
So there goes the MST popping that chaos zone. So now what we've got to do. Yeah, so this ended up being pretty interesting. Now, um, but thing is that a drug. And so, you know, I was trying to tell Scruffy, don't worry about, um, don't worry about, you know, trying to commentate, just focus on the duel. And I figured that he was going to toss over Chaos and Master. So, boom. It's going to go off of that. So, yeah. And I think he just now realized, oh, wait, I can do this. Like I said, Redox is in his deck. So, what he could do because of Chaos and Master's effect is actually get out Redox. That would actually make it, uh, you know, easier. Everybody in the comments actually starts mentioning it. But, you know, I guess Bus just didn't realize at the time. I don't know. Maybe that wasn't his actual strategy. But like I said, he was distracted. You know, but still. So, this is pretty much um, one of those interesting setups here. Because Scruffy's Chaos deck could actually get over on uh, Psychics considering they banish. So his Chaos Zone would actually build up. The unfortunate thing is that he doesn't really play Chaos Zone all that much. I don't know, there's a lot that he could do to speed this up. I mean, I gave him a lot of flack during this, uh, during the recordings. You know, and I don't mean any harm by it. I actually, um, tried to be like, this, you know, I tried to just be playful with him and kind of just, you know, elbow him, you know, eh, 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 you know, but that's about it. I don't actually really mean any, anything negative by it. So, of course, going off the same Dragon Ruler, uh, kind of build, he can easily go for Mecha Phantom Beast Dracosac here, and, um, you know, it kind of really disrupts Scruffy's strategy. Or he could go for a big eye, yeah, and there you go. I mean, seriously, big eye just disrupts everything. I actually finally went up against the Dragon Ruler deck a couple weeks ago. Um, you know, a guy named Lionheart2099 on Dueling Network uh, asked me if I ever went up against them. So he decided to kind of go and show me what it was like, you know, and then I already kind of put it together and understood more as to how these things work. So that does make it, um, you know, a bit more easy to understand, but for fuck's sake, he actually managed to, uh, to get my Gishki Zeogigas and use its effect to just further add to his hand. It was cold. But I don't think that, uh, that he's got big eye in this. I don't know. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. Whatever. But Scruffy had a pretty decent thing going on here, but, you know, yeah, he really should have been trying to trying to negate other summons as opposed to just light and dark. I mean, you know, that mirror was okay, but come on, man. So, oh, here we go with that Crimson Blader. Yeah, dude, come on. Uh, bus, really? Because the thing is that Sphere of Chaos can't be destroyed by battle once per turn. So, he can actually gang up on it and take them both out. And also, if you've got a good ear or you're paying close enough attention, you can actually hear a um, remix, a MIDI version of uh, the Gold, Silver, Crystal, Dark Cave uh, track. Yeah. yeah, I decided to kind of track that down and uh, just edit it together just because I like that track, so why not? Um, yeah, Scruffy's pretty much, uh, he's pretty much boned here. Oh, snap, of course, that Mirror Force. He runs, of course, two Mirror Forces in the deck. So, yeah, with that destroyed, now he gets his effect, so he can bring back his Esper Girl. Yeah, you're pretty much running into it. Oh, right, I forgot Dracosac's effect. It's, uh, unable to be destroyed. Right. You'd think that I'd know this, considering I just looked up Mecha Phantom Beast earlier this week. Yeah, well, anyway, that'll do it for the post-commentary. Um, 
it's time to go to the actual live commentary. So thank you guys for putting up with this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have to put me on a Alright, here we go. Finally, good guy. So, yeah, um, the audio wasn't there. And, the and he almost won. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> so why don't you use Mecha Effect on the mirror? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two card extra jack. Somebody was like, Ori Calcos. And so everybody's calling this, like, they're trying to predict what, because I was trying to export at the same time. Oh, no, never mind. It's okay. It kind of stalled for a second, though. Not Stardust. He was using Poly. Why does he have. Never mind. Yeah. Red Ox deck. I don't freaking know. Yeah, uh, people are kind of frustrated by the freaking deck that you put. You could have potentially made that Chaos Goddess uh, card. Uh, what? What round is this? Two? Last duel. Huh. I'm like this with you all the time. Water, my I want to protect those tuners. MST to that, so chain, chain, chain. Uh. It would be nice. Oh, great. Mind control. Just jacked your monster. And an axe on a kicker. Mm. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you got a decent setup for effects, then you're good. But, you know, this is just. I don't know. See, you got him on on like a, a bad like hour or something because usually he's better than that. What is that? Another freaking mirror force, magic stone, or what? <laughs> what is up with the GG barbecue? What? Get that over. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. Yeah, still one more duel. <laughs> oh wait, that's no, it was just two. <laughs> Ultimate ass kicker. Nice. And that was that. Scruffy, guy ain't got uh, any things to say? <laughs> I got my ass whooped. And rightly so. <laughs> hey. Hey, he even he, he, hey, he even logged out Alpha. Ed, so yeah, um, huh? See if you could kick his ass. 
We'll see some other day. Alright, so that was my duel against Busfire was a failure, as expected. We'll see you next time, guys. Alright. Later. Peace.